Hey everybody, today I filmed a full face makeup tutorial for fall. Yes, this is another one for fall. And this is more of like an everyday with a bold lip kind of look. And I did use all drugstore products except for my brows. These are ColourPop. But I figured since they're so affordable, we could just group them together. Nobody will notice, right? Who okay. cares? So, um, I did this look and I'm going to go through it with you guys and hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you find it easy to follow. So, the first thing I did was I grabbed some of my Physician's Formula products that have literally just been sitting on my shelf, wanted to give them some love. So, I did my foundation. I used the Mineral Wear Telk Free All-in-One ABC Cushion Foundation in the shade Light Medium. Now, for this product, I actually used the included applicator because just in case you guys at home don't have the brushes I have I wanted you to see exactly how it applies when you're using the included cushion as you can see this is a very medium light wear of course you can build this up for full opacity but I really just wanted to have a light wash a foundation on my skin I really wanted this to truly be an everyday look something that you can just do fast um, on the, faster on the go. Now this is great if you want to cover up freckles or redness um, or even just uh, the occasional acne. This is a great way to just give it a quick cover up and not look too cakey or caked on. You could do this on the bus. You can do this in a parking lot. You're done in like five minutes. Um, so from there I also used the Touch of Blur. This is also by Physicians Formula and I used the shade Light Blur and as you can see it has an applicator already built into it which is very convenient it has got a little like ball, um, bulb type applicator. Now I used a Real Techniques blender, beauty blender, because I felt like I just wanted a little bit more diffusion, but really honestly if you'd used your fingers, it's the same thing. So I used this to just highlight a little bit, conceal a little bit right under my eye, and I did a little bit of highlight on my forehead as well. Now to top that off, I used the now you don't really have to top that off, but I decided to top it off with the physician with the physician's formula super BB Insta Ready, and this is in the shade Universal Filter. Now usually if you've watched my tutorials before, I'm all about the baking and the drama, whatnot. Today I just wanted a simple, soft, diffused powder to set my foundation and to set my concealer slash highlight. So I did that. Now this next step is kind of optional if you want to do this. You don't have to do it, but I wanted to add just a little bit of drama because, you know me, I can't have it every day without drama. Like, if you've been watching me a while, you know I can't do a makeup look without a little drama. So I reached for two products actually, and the first of the two is Super BB Instant Insta Ready from Physicians Formula, and this is the Blush Trio. Now this is a cream product, and you can apply this right over powder because it blends out so easily. As you can see, it looks a little bit garish on my cheek, like whoa, clown face. But no, don't worry, just grab your brush, diffuse it, and you have instant blush. And it gives you a nice gradation, so you don't have to worry about this just being an isolated blush. Like sometimes you put on a cream blush and the edges aren't diffused enough. This you don't have to worry about because you have the three different colors built into it. Now I also wanted to do a little bit of contouring on my face, so I used the Super BB Insta Ready from Physician's Formula, and this is Bronze Trio. Now you don't have to layer these two products, you could use one or the other. I felt like using both, I applied it to the hollows of my cheek, um, my my forehead and also the sides of my nose then I blended these out you really want to make sure that these are fully blended out before you go on to the next step I loved how all of these products from Physicians Formula all, all worked really well together, all felt super lightweight, smooth application, and you don't have to, you can use one or you can use all of them and you're still going to look like you have a polished look because they're so lightweight and they're so easy to blend out and diffuse. For my brows, I used ColourPop Cosmetics Bang Brunette Brow Color. I used the gel form and I used an angled, I used a liner brush to fill in my brows and a spoolie brush to help uh, groom them before and after. Now moving on to my eye look, I used the L'Oreal Paris Colorish Pocket Palette in the shade 104 French Biscuit. This is one of my favorite shades from the Pocket Palette collection and I did a pretty tame look on my eyes. I didn't follow the directions on the back. There are instructions in the back. I did not follow those. Um, at least not directly. I didn't follow the directions 
directly to the point. I did veer off a little bit, but not too much. It's not as dramatic as my other looks that I've shared thus far. Started off using shade two, and I applied this as a transitional shade in my crease area, blended a little bit up towards the brow, and I also let it go a little bit towards my lid. I also applied a little bit of shade three in the outer V just to add a little bit extra depth. I also applied shade one all over the lid. Now all now the first two shades, by the way, are matte shades, and the third shade is a little bit of a pearlescent, but it's not terribly noticeable. So if you're looking for a more neutral matte look, this is the palette you want to pick up. Now the fourth shade is designated as a liner, and I thought, why not? Let me just use this shade as a liner. I I let me use this shade as its intended purpose, as a liner. So I grabbed a liner brush, I moistened it with NYX matte finish. Fini matte, matte finishing spray because I feel like this turns any eyeshadow into a liner and it lasts all day. Uh, there are silver sparkles in this shadow which really came through and really stayed put when using the finishing spray. They do not have fallout. It does not have fallout. It's not going to diffuse all everywhere. It's not going to be, oh well it looked nice in the pan but not on my eye. No, when you use this white you're going to have that full pigmentation. So I did that. I did both my eyes in that liner. And then I did the option of then I did the optional step of adding lashes. After my lashes, I decided to do the lip in Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color, and I used the shade Red Velvet Cake. This is a very smooth liquid to matte liquid lipstick from the drugstore. It's transfer proof, smudge proof, and budge proof. But unlike other liquid lipsticks that are a bit higher end, this does come off a little bit easier when when you're drinking or if you're you or if you're eating something greasy like this comes off much faster than other brands however the price point is a little bit lower and i'm going to have details i'm having a full review coming on that product i'm going to also have full details in the link below so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it really easy to follow um i've said it before but i'll say it again if there's a specific pocket palette you'd like to see me do a tutorial on or a specific look you'd like to see with one of the pocket palettes from l'oreal please be sure to leave a comment and i'll make sure to get on that and bring you guys a video um even if it's a palette i've already done if there's a specific look you want me to just tutorial for you guys i'd be more than happy to do it so please let me know as always guys thank you so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on instagram I'm Recycled Stardust.